Welcome to a chilling tale of horror and mystery. In this story, we follow the journey of Billy, a thrill seeker who stumbles upon a cursed red hat that unleashes a terrifying curse upon him. As he struggles to break free from the curse's hold, he descends into a world of nightmares and terror, with no escape in sight. With bone-chilling details and horrifying plot twists, this story will leave you questioning the boundaries of reality and the power of the unknown. So buckle up and prepare to embark on a journey through the darkest corners of the human mind in this tale of the Red Hat Curse. Before we begin, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. We upload three to five times a week. Okay, let's begin. Billy was always fascinated by the unknown and the mysterious. He would often go on adventures to find hidden secrets and relics, but one day, he stumbled upon something that he should have never found, a bright red hat. As soon as he put it on, a shiver ran down his spine, and he felt as if something had awakened within him. He took it off and tossed it aside, trying to shrug off the feeling. But the next day, he couldn't help but feel drawn to the red hat, as if it was calling out to him. He put the hat on again, and this time he felt a wave of heat wash over him, and the world around him started to spin. When he opened his eyes again, he found himself in a dark, shadowy room, with the only source of light coming from the red hat on his head. The room was filled with eerie whispers and strange whispers, and he could feel a presence lurking in the shadows. He tried to take the hat off, but it wouldn't budge. Suddenly, he was pushed forward, and his body tumbled into a dark abyss. As he fell, he saw horrifying visions of people screaming and writhing in agony, their faces contorted in pain. The voices around him grew louder and more malicious, and he felt a cold hand grip his ankle, pulling him down deeper into the abyss. When he woke up, he found himself in his bedroom, but he knew that it was not over. He could feel the curse's presence still lingering around him, waiting to claim him once again. The next few days were a blur of nightmares and hallucinations, with the red hat constantly haunting him. He would see it out of the corner of his eye, stalking him wherever he went. He would hear whispers and moans, and feel a cold breath on the back of his neck. He became paranoid, thinking that everyone was out to get him. He even saw his own reflection in the mirror with glowing red eyes and sharp fangs, smiling back at him in a twisted way. One night, as he was lying in bed, he saw a figure in a red hat standing at the foot of his bed. He tried to scream, but no sound came out, and the figure began to crawl on all fours towards him. Billy tried to get up and run, but his body wouldn't move, and he was trapped, helpless. The figure got closer and closer, and as it got within inches of his face, he saw that it was a rotting corpse, its eyes glowing with an evil light. Its mouth opened wide, and Billy felt its cold, putrid breath on his face. But just as the creature was about to devour him, the red hat on his head began to glow, and a blinding light filled the room. The creature shrieked in pain and disappeared leaving Billy alone, drenched in sweat and trembling. He realized then that the curse was not just a physical object, but something that had attached itself to his very soul. The red hat was just a conduit, a vessel for the curse to manifest itself. Billy knew that he had to get rid of the curse, but he didn't know how. He tried to destroy the hat, but it always came back, as if it was indestructible. One day, while wandering aimlessly, he stumbled upon an old abandoned house, and as he went inside, he found a secret room filled with strange artifacts and symbols. 
There was a book with an ancient script that caught his eye, and he began to read it. The words on the pages were unfamiliar, but as he read, he felt a sense of power coursing through him, and suddenly, he knew what he had to do. Billy realized that he had to perform a ritual to break the curse, and the book had the instructions he needed. He gathered all the materials he needed and prepared the space for the ritual. As he chanted the ancient words and performed the ritual, he felt the curse slowly leaving his body. The red hat on his head began to crumble, and he watched as it turned to dust and disappeared. The room was filled with a blinding light, and Billy felt a sense of relief as the curse was finally lifted. He knew that he had narrowly escaped a fate worse than death, and that he could never let his curiosity get the best of him again. But as he left the old house and walked away, he heard a faint whisper in the wind, and he knew that the curse was not fully gone. He couldn't shake off the feeling that it was still lurking in the shadows, waiting for its next victim. From that day on, Billy never spoke of the curse to anyone, fearing that it might awaken again. He lived the rest of his life haunted by the memories of the curse and the red hat, always looking over his shoulder, never able to fully shake off the fear that it might come back to claim him again. And with that, we reach the end of our journey through the Red Hat Curse. We hope this story has left you feeling equal parts frightened and intrigued as you explore the terrifying consequences of curiosity and the dangers that lurk in the unknown. Remember, sometimes it's better to leave the mysteries of the world alone, lest you awaken something you cannot control. Thank you for joining us on this spine tingling adventure and we hope to see you again soon for more tales of horror and suspense. Until then, stay safe and watch your step as you never know what might be lurking just around the corner. Before you go, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.